Hey guys, back with another X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Um, sorry about the quality. I don't have the money to pay for a capture card right now. So, getting cell phone quality. But today I got a battle with Barento, who was a passerby that challenged me to a battle, but it turned out good, so why not? Um, I saw his team beforehand, obviously, and I noticed he had a Smeargle, so I assumed it was a Smeargle running Spore. So I let off with my Sap Sipping Gudra, and I hit him with a Thunderbolt. And it actually didn't do as much as I thought it was going to, considering that I'm modest max, spe max special attack, but he does go for the Spore, and I get the Sap Sipper attack boost, which means nothing on my Gudra. It's just an immunity for him. So he brings in Garchomp, and I assumed that he was going to, so I went for the Dragon Pulse, but it didn't kill, which actually really surprised me. And so I gotta switch out, and I go into Skarmory. And he goes for the Outrage, and that's gonna do absolutely nothing. My Skarmory is gonna eat that up. And after Leftovers damage, or after Leftovers, the, the damage was nothing at all. So... I know he's locked into the Outrage, and I'm going to go for a layer of spikes, because that renders this Garchomp dead, period. He can't touch me. He's probably locked in. I assume it's a banded Garchomp, um, and he can't do anything to me, so I set up a layer of spikes. The Garchomp is dead. He has no spinner on his team. Um, so, depending on what he's going to do, I'm going to roost either way to get my health back, if he's going to attack or if he's going to switch out. And he switches out into Charizard, and so my first thought is, he goes into Charizard against my bulky Skarmory, it's going to be Charizard Y. So I switch into Gudra, and he proceeds to Mega Evolve into Charizard X. So I made the wrong play. I should have gone into Azumarill, whether it was Charizard X or Y, because he can't do anything to me. So he hits me with a Flare Blitz, and that's going to do a ton to my Gudra because of the Tough Claws, Stab, and all that. So I got to get out. Gudra's going to die, and now I go into Azumaro. And I know I can take this hit pretty good, live with about half. Yeah, shiny Azumaro. Look at that sexy beast. And I'm right. I, I live with just over half, and so... I'm like, yeah, sweet, that's awesome. I can survive another one, go for the player off. Nope. He gets the burn hacks, so that completely renders my Azumarill useless. I go for the Aqua Jet, uh, assuming that a Flare Blitz is going to kill me from there. He goes for another Flare Blitz, and yes, it does kill me. So I lose my Azumarill, which is tough, because Azumarill could have manhandled his team with uh, the three dragons that he's got. Well, two, because Garchomp's dead. Well almost dead now so I go into yes another shiny my Greninja um and he switches out goes into his Garchomp who's going to die good move death father you know that's why I saved it and so I went for the skull which I think I should have gone for the ice beam on the uh the Charizard because it is neutral and that's my strongest move but you know I went for the skull and he switches into Ferrothorn so I have to get out of here. Ferrothorn will kill me with a power whip because I am a water type. And I'm specs, so I'm locked into that. So I switch into Talonflame, who's going to eat up a power whip. That's going to do absolutely nothing to Talonflame. So I assume he's going to switch, but Flare Blitz is going to hit anything hard that he switches into. He switches into his Smeargle, his Death Fodder, and I'm going to take it out with the Flare Blitz. So that's two down. I'm up 5-4 to four at this point. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, so, next he's going to go into Blastoise, who's obviously going to wall the crap out of my Talonflame. And so, I U-turn, got to get out of there. There's no way I'm going to touch this Blastoise. U-turn does quite a bit, so I, f I see that he's definitely not a defensive Blastoise. So I go into Gudra to take any hit he's got. And he goes for the Aura Sphere, which is weird, because if I stayed in, that's not going to do anything to, uh, to my Talonflame, but he goes for the Aura Sphere, so I get to hit him with a Thunderbolt, doesn't kill, gets the Paralyzation, doesn't matter, because I'm going to live 
this Dragon Pulse because Gudra with an Assault Vest is a monster. Max HP, max special attack, Assault Vest, Gudra. And so I go for the Dragon Pulse in case he wants to switch out and save it for Death Father like he's done with his past two. Um, that allows him to bring in his Dragonite. And I know that Dragonites like to carry the uh, weakness policy, so I didn't go for the Dragon Pulse. I'm going to let him set up his Dragonite. It's like I assumed he would have. He probably wanted me to hit him with the Dragon Pulse because of the multi-scale. So I go into Skarmory. I know I can live this Fire Punch. I have the Sturdy, but I know it's not going to do that much. And I go for the Brave Bird trying to break his multi-scale, and obviously I will break his multi-scale. And so I, that's exactly what I want done. Now, I'm trying to let him kill my Skarmory here so I can bring out my Greninja to kill him. He, th he, didn't, he decides to get greedy and goes for a Dragonite, and I just went for Whirlwind just in case. And so that works out for me. I get to keep my Skarmory, his Dragonite's out, and the multi-scale's broken. And in comes Charizard X. And I can't stay in with all the damage that I took. I know I won't outspeed it. Because uh, I have no speed IVs or uh, EVs on this Skarmory. So I switch out. And I go into Gudra as Death Father. Unfortunately, he carries the Roost. So Charizard X gets a lot of its health back. Back to about 70-75%. And he goes for the Rock Slide, maybe predicting the Talonflame to come in, knowing it's going to kill Gudra anyway. Um, I let Gudra die. And now I bring in the Talonflame. Um, I don't know why he didn't stay in. I personally would have stayed in, hoping the Charizard lived the Brave Bird. But uh, he switches into Ferrothorn, which is a good play, because Ferrothorn can resist the Brave Bird. It will live it. Um... But I am not a banded talent flame, as you saw earlier, so I can switch freely from Brave Bird to my uh, Flare Blitz and finish off the Ferrothorn. I carry Citrus Berry on my talent flame in case rocks are on the field, and that lets me get off two more, two possibly three Flare Blitz or uh, Brave Birds before I switch out. So. I go for the Flare Blitz, I kill the Ferrothorn, take Iron Barb's damage, take Rocky Helmet damage, and take Recoil damage. And after all of that, my Talent Flame lives with 12 HP. So that's perfect. Dragonite's going to come out, I'm going to hit it with the Brave Bird. Bring it down to the range that, even after the Dragon Dance, Bullet Punch will kill it from my Mega Lucario. So I go for the Roost, predicting the Dragon Dance. But he also carries Roost, so he's, his multi-scale is back. That's a little frustrating and scary. I go for the Brave Bird to break the multi-scale. Wow, he goes for the Dragon Dance. So now this Dragonite's plus one attack, plus one speed. I'm getting a little nervous here. I can't bring out Skarmory to Whirlwind because he's going to kill him now. So I go for another Brave Bird and uh, bring it down into the red area, but he goes for another Roost. And so now I know what game he's going to play. I'm going to go for the Brave Bird, he's going to go for the Roost. I have to stay in and go for the Brave Bird because I don't want his multi-scale to be intact when I bring in my Greninja. Back down to 12, he goes for the Roost. Now I'm hoping that I get max damage here or maybe a crit, something that this Brave Bird is going to take out Dragonite in this situation. One last Brave Bird. And... No. Dragonite's going to live it with a sliver of health. My Talon Flame's gone. And then he's going to roost his health back. So now, plus one Dragonite. I'm hoping that it's a stupid build. Brave or something. Some stupid Dragonite that no one uses. That my Greninja can outspeed. Unfortunately, it's not. He goes for the Roost, though, and I was expecting him to just kill Greninja right off the bat. So I go for the Ice Beam, obviously, and he gets his Weakness Policy boost. But because of the Ice Beam, he's brought down to the range where I think that I can kill him with 
the bullet punch from my Lucario. So I'm pretty pumped about this. He's going to hit me with a fire punch, and all is going to be okay. Because in comes the badass, shiny Mega Lucario. Look at that thing. What a sexy beast. So I Mega Evolve and go for the bullet punch. And yes, adaptability boosted, stab, bullet punch from Mega Lucario. Takes out Dragonite. Dragonite is gone, and all that he has left is his Mega Charizard X. I know I'm going to outspeed. I go for the close combat. And that is going to be good game. Got me a little nervous, but I was able to pull through. Love that Mega Lucario. See you next time, guys.